Everyone's coming in. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, all of you. Oh, I'm so excited to see you all popping up. This is so fun. Hi, everyone. Can I get a wave? <laughs> How incredible that we're connected like this. This is just so kind of sci-fi, but here we are now. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna give a minute for a few more people to join us. Can you imagine? We're all, I mean, we're for, like, we're connected across the globe, literally, it's wild. <laughs> All right, I'll give a few more seconds. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm gonna do it. Hi, hello, hello, hello. My name is Patty Dubaroff. Um, I am so excited to be here with you all uh, for this Beauty Pie Masterclass. Um, and this is in honor of the holiday spirit of in honor of the holidays uh, with holiday spirit connecting us all. Um, hello, hello. I'm here at the really beautiful one hotel in West Hollywood. Um, hence the gorgeous background. Um, and if you want to see the views that I saw outside of my hotel room last night um, and yesterday, take a look at my Instagram stories because there's some pictures. The view is just incredible. If I wasn't so afraid of um, disconnecting, I would turn the camera around so you could see, but you can look at my stories to see that. And um, welcome, welcome. So we all are part of Team Beauty Pie. And I gotta say, I feel like Beauty Pie is like the, the best, the best, not even, it's not a best kept secret, but it's kind of the best, uh, it's the best like insider club in beauty. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm a total snob when it comes to products. I, I'm very fortunate that I get to try everything that's out there. And um, when Beauty Pie came across my life, uh, I've known Marcia a really long time, but when she told me about Beauty Pie and then I started seeing the products, feeling the products, I'm like, this is really good. And it's really good because it's the same stuff that all of those fancy, expensive brands sell. It's all made in the same place. It's just Marcia is a genius and she figured, figured out a way that we can get the best of the best for prices that are absolutely reasonable. And I, I'm sure all of you are like me, I want the best of the best, but I don't want to pay those ridiculous prices. Uh, like I know what's, you know, I know what beauty products are really worth. And um, so I want it at these prices. So yeah, beauty pie, club beauty pie. Um, when this box arrives at my house, I get super excited. Um, I love seeing this box and there is nothing shy about the pinkness of it all. So this box, it's all about health care. This was my elf care box. And um, I've got in my room, this gingerbread almond and orange blossom candle going. And it's like holiday, the smell of holiday. You know how sometimes like holiday candles can smell like really cheap and um, kind of, I don't know, kind of annoying. This is so beautiful. It's like the best of holiday, just like soft and lovely. Um, oh, another thing that I splurged on for myself out because I got to say, because my friend, my friend sent me a text and she was like, oh my God, I got that silk mulberry uh, pillowcase from Beauty Pie and it's a game changer for the skin, for the hair. She said she even slept better. So um, I got myself one and there it is. Ah! <laughs> there it is on my hotel pillow. Um, I've been traveling with it um, because I want to wake up feeling pretty and not having crazy staticky hair. So there it is. Highly suggest this as a gift to yourself if you, uh, or for others, but it's really great. And, uh, and then of course, this, the eight piece beauty kit. And um, it's called the eight piece easy holiday beauty set. And I love it so much. I'm so happy 
to be bringing back the bag that was in the bag that was made for my original set, which I don't know if any of you got it in the spring. Um, that bag has become a favorite of many because it's awesome for travel, you know, uh, going through TSA and all that jazz, but it's also the perfect size. And I like to kind of like put um, different categories of things. So I use one for skin, one for tools, one for makeup. Um, I really love this bag. And, um, and then within the bag is the Genius Lift Elixir. And you guys have, if you've kind of been watching for a while, you've seen me talk about this, heard me talk about this. This is one of my absolute go-to products. So I prepped my skin earlier. Um, Always genius, uh, always genius. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. I'm like sweating. Look at that. Oh my God. Um, I prepped my skin first with the elixir prior to makeup, but I also love to use this as a highlight. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, also within here is the amazing Push Your Lux eyeshadow palette. And if any of you got this, I hope you've been playing with it. There's so many different ways you can use it. If you haven't received it yet, you're gonna have fun because multitude of looks from day to night. I'll show you one of my favorites in a minute. Uh, a brush, <laughs> there's the brush. Lip pencil, sexy berry, lip pencil. Uh, sexy berry cream blush, which was from my original kit, uh, brought back because love it so much. It looks like I have it on already, but that's just because I'm nervous. So but I'm going to add a little more. And this, my newest obsession is the lip oil, collagen lip oil called Shimmy. And I'm obsessed with this. And um, I actually used this the other night um, for Carrie Ann Moss for premiere of The Matrix in San Francisco. And it was just so beautiful on her lips. And um, excited to show it to you guys. So, all right, so I'm gonna get right into it now. So as I said, I prepped my skin first um, with the elixir, kind of, I kept it around the perimeter. I didn't wanna to put too much in the center of the face, use that as a base. And then I put some foundation and I put my brows on so that, that I'd be all ready for you. So I'm gonna get into blush. Uh, sexy Berry, good old Sexy Berry. So Sexy Berry Cream Blush. I love this cream blush. I use it sometimes on my lips like that, because why not? But of course I use it on my cheeks. With Cream Blush, it's so great to use your finger. It's great to give a big cheesy smile so that you find those apples in your cheeks. Put a few dots and then just blend, blend, blend. Um, couple important things for blush placement. Okay, you don't want to, I'm so red because I'm nervous, but I love the way it looks. It looks like super like fresh and wintry. Um, a couple things for blush placement. You don't wanna to get too close to your nose, right? You don't wanna to get too close to your eye crease. You really, Really want to keep it on that meaty part of the apple. Okay. So if you feel like you've gotten out of bounds, you can just take a foundation brush and swirl away any of the excess and just kind of push it aside, push it into place, just like that. And you don't need to have anything on that brush. You just need to have like whatever residue of foundation is on that brush. Um, like that. I've used this on my eyelids. Again, I love it as a little bit of a lip stain because why not? Super pretty. All right, so that's Sexy Berry Cheek. Uh, next, all right, let's get into the eyeshadow. Push Your Lux Eyeshadow Palette. First of all, I just wanna say this is weighty. Like it's it, weighty in that good way. You know how like, you know that a product is um, special and important and luxury when you can feel the weight of the packaging. This is a luxury item. It has a great weight to it. It has a great mirror. There, oh look, I can see you guys. <laughs> Hi. Um, it has a great mirror, but 
most importantly, the stuff inside, that's what's great. So love these eyeshadows. I love that there is a awesome balance between matte and shimmer because it is super important when, to give your eye shape and structure and uh, contour really with matte shadows. And then you pop the life, light and the color and the shimmer with the shimmery ones. Um, but it's impossible to build a very uh, depth filled eye with just shimmers. You can't do it. And what happens is when you use shimmers when in when you're trying to create depth is um the shim like something that's shimmery makes something pop out something that is matte it gives it depth so think about what you want to give depth to in terms of your eye shape and what you want to open up or pop out so i am going to show you i'm going to do kind of a nighttime look but a day i'll do day and then i'll switch it into tonight let's do that one of my favorite colors in here is, can you see, okay, there is this color that's up in the corner. It's like a mushroom and I think it's called Hush Brown. Yeah. And that is an awesome color for pretty much most skin tones to create depth and contour. Oh, remember this brush? Those of you that got my original kit, I'm bringing it back. It's not in this eight piece set. Uh, the brush that's in here is this one, but I'm gonna save this one for the shimmery shadows. But I love this one that was in my original kit for crease and then also for like lining. As you see, it's a little bit smaller on the end. Okay, so I'm going over here into this matte brown portion and I'm going to just kind of start on the crease area. And I'm gonna create depth on my crease. Now, for those of us that have, you know, hit a certain age, <laughs> um, this is an area where we can start to lose elasticity and we can start to lose tone and we can start to feel like our eyes are sagging. Um, by doing this step with a matte shadow, you're actually kind of doing what you would be asking the doctor to do to give you that tone back but you're doing it with soft shadows. So I am giving some tone back to my eye and I just want you to see the difference there. So where I could be a little bit puffy, I might've had a little bit too much salty things last night. Um, I'm pushing that back. Okay, get to the other side. Now, this is, this is a great color for people who are very pale to even like pretty um, warm skin tones. If your skin tone's very dark, this one may not be dark enough to do this crease thing. You would get over here and use this darker color for, for this portion. Okay, I'm pushing back my little puffy, puffy crease area. There we go. You know, now if I wanted to do like a really simple daytime look, I would just take one of these paler shadows and pop that in the middle and be done with it. Mascara, I'm done with it. Um, but I'm going to build on this because I want this to be a little more festive, a little more kind of something, something for the holidays. So now I'm going to take with the smaller side of the brush, see that? I'm going to go into this darker tone, which the darker tone is, it's not too dark. So it's not gonna to be too intense. I got a bit of, on the brush there. Oh, you can see all my little sticky notes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make sure that there's no fallout on the brush. So I'm really gonna make sure that that's like kind of deep in the brush, no little dribbles going to happen. And I'm gonna take that and I want to create a little bit of a liner effect. I don't wanna use pencil for this because I want there to be like, I want it to be like a strong but soft eye. So if I was to use a pencil now, it might be a little hard. It might look a little fierce, um, but by doing it with a darker shadow and a small brush, I'm creating that lined eye look with a softness. I want you to really see what I see here. 
see that. So I'm just keeping it very close to the lash line. And you know, it's a slight little wing. Because it's not a pencil, it doesn't, and it's not a liner, it doesn't have to be too perfect. You know, with pencils and liquid liners, you have to be really like perfect um, because they're so, it's so graphic. Uh, with shadow, you have, a, it's a little more forgiving, which I really like. Um, and again, just softer, which I find more flattering for most. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of wing that out to meet where I scooped the crease. So you see how it's framing my eye. I didn't go all the way into the corners. I didn't wanna add more darkness in there because I can tend to be a little dark under my eye. But if you're someone who has a very broad, uh, broad space between your eyes, you can follow that line there because you have more room to, to play. Um, if you're someone who is, it's more narrow, the space where your eyes are, definitely don't bring the dark shadow anywhere past the outer corner. Really focus on the outer corner because you want to focus on elongation. Now, this is where, you know, you have to understand what your eye shape is uh, or what your eye shape is and what, your eye, what you're wanting to achieve with your eye shape. So I want to achieve something that's slightly almondine um, without it being too dramatic. Okay, so there we go. I didn't put anything underneath yet because I'm not sure yet if I want to. I'm going to wait until I have the pop of color on the center of the lid and then I'll make that decision. So I'm going to go in now with the brush that's in the kit. This one's really nice and kind of fluffy, but it's a good, uh, oh, and the brushes, they're vegan. They're absolutely cruelty free, which is so important for me. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with and pick one of these colors. And I think I'm gonna go with this beautiful kind of copper tone, which is called electric copper. And this one has the shimmer. So I'm gonna keep that on the center of the lid. There. Really get in. Make sure to do that bang, bang, bang thing so I don't like end up with little fallout. And I'm going to pop that copper shine right on the center of the lid. Now, what I love about this palette is there are a few different, oh, you see that? Oh, that's pretty. See how it picks up the shine? It's that really nice, warm, shimmery glow. In the palette, there's a gold I can do this with, kind of like a bronzy gold. And there is also a, a more like pewtery tone. So if I wanted something cooler, I could pick any of those three, see the three right there that have the shimmer, um, to do this pop thing, depending on the look. And last night I was working on a few different looks, potential looks. One I really loved was the dark shadow with the pewter. Um, um, and still a bit of that mushroomy tone to contour, but like more of a wing with the dark shadow and then the pewter in the middle, which was a cooler, cool, cool look. Um, another one I really loved was uh, doing just the soft, again, that mushroomy tone and a little bit of the, what did I do? The mushroom, oh, and a bit of this uh, kind of like, uh, kind of camel tone on the lid. And then I popped the gold. That was another really great option. But again, now I'm going for copper. So let me get the other eye. Now I really wanna keep the copper on the lid where I don't have any little wrinkles and crinkles because as soon as you put something shimmery on an area with wrinkles and crinkles like a crease or um, a corner or crease, it will really accentuate those. So I really don't wanna accentuate crinkles and creases, I want to pop light. And I wanna really like add some light that's going to kind of frame my eyeballs and help open my eye. So once again, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this copper right on the lid, keep it festive. There, like that. Um, all right, I'm just checking to make sure I didn't fall out. I love it, ooh, it's so pretty. Nice. Now I'm going to do some mascara. Where's my mascara? Hmm, one second. Oh my God. 
That's so funny. My mascara just went missing. Hmm. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. You guys, where's my mascara? <gasps> All right. Hmm. My mascara literally has just walked away. So I'm not going to do it. There's mascara in here. And I took a picture of it this morning. All right, well, anyway, imagine mascara, 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 mascara. It's a great mascara. I am can't believe that it's hiding from me right now. Well, anyway, okay. Um, mascara, 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 mascara. Pop that eye open or no mascara. Why not? It doesn't have to be mascara. I'm gonna get into lip now. Um, for the lip, I'm going to show you kind of, because I wanted the eye to be the focus, I'm going to show you a soft lip with a little bit of framing. And you know how, you know how you see like celebs on the red carpet and they've got these like perfectly contoured lips that look like so natural, but like juicy and contoured, but it doesn't, it, it, it's almost like a, a hidden contour. That's kind of what I'm going to do now. So first I'm going to use shimmy again. I told you I am obsessed with shimmy. Okay. Shimmy is a lip oil, but here's the thing when, by saying it's an oil, you're going to expect it to be like mm, thin and slippery and mm, too, too slippery for the lip. It's not, it's, and it's not as thick as a lip gloss. It's this, perfect hybrid where the oil feels super hydrating it feels like it's kind of cushiony and cushiony but not sticky like a lip gloss it's all the things that are perfect and I love that the color is super natural I don't know if you can see I don't think you can really see but it has like the lightest amount of shimmer to it um which just brings more life but it's not like like uh, particles of shimmer that would in any way like catch in fine lines around the, the edges of the lips, which, you know, can happen with something too shimmery. So it's really like this perfect hybrid of a, of a balm and a gloss and a, and a clear, but with a little more life. I love it so much. Okay, so I put a coat of that on first. I'm gonna give it a little blend so it's not too much. And now I'm gonna get in with my lip pencil and I'm going to frame. So I'm gonna frame my lip on the edge, on top of the bomb, because I want there to be something to slide on. And I'm leaving it a little like outlined, but you'll see it's not gonna look like evidently outlined. It's just gonna look like the lips have been given form and there's a lot of like opening from the middle. And as you remember, I put a little bit of the sexy berry um, blush in the center of the lip uh, prior. So it gave a little bit of color, but just a hint. Now, now, if I wanted this lip to have a lot more color, I could go more intense with the pencil. Like that. Do one more little coat of gloss. And I wish I could find my mascara. That is really funny and annoying. I'm so sorry. It just walked away. I don't know what happened. Um, do you guys remember Sexy Berry from my kit in the spring? So this one sadly is sold out in the UK, but the US you can still get it. Um, this is a great balm for those of us who like a little bit of color, but it not to be like uh, too, too opaque. Um, I am a huge fan of this color. Just a little idea of it. Just to give a little more tone to my lip. So since I have a minute, and since I don't have mascara, I'm gonna turn this eye into a smokier eye, just because why not? And we're here. So I'm going to take um, the darker tone, 
that I used as the liner. And I'm going to gently frame my eye just on the middle to the outer corner. I don't want to do too much there because I don't want it to get too dark, but I just want to give a little bit more something, something. Now, if I feel like it's a little too much, I'm gonna take a brush that's clean and I'm gonna take a little bit of this tone that is uh, the creamy ivory, sorry, the light is funny there, the ivory and a little bit of the camel. And I'm gonna do that just on the middle, inner, middle, and then blending in to kind of smoke out that dark, frame the eye more but with a softer tone um, so it's not too dark and too shrinking of the eye. Another trick which I know people really love to do to open their eyes to uh, diffuse any shadows is to take a bit of the light, that ivory tone, and I'm gonna do it on the smaller side of the brush. This side, this is a clean one. And I'm going to put a touch of that. And I like to do this trick, you know, that trick where you put the, high, the light color on the inner corner to brighten the eye. It's a great trick. Doing it with something shimmery can be a little tricky. So I really like to do it with something that is matte and light um, because you don't have to worry about it looking like frosting, it's, but it's going to do that thing of just like adding a spotlight of brightness to that inner corner that can go a little dark. And there. Um, and then to top it off, why not make it a little more festive? I'm gonna go back to that copper tone that I initially did on the lid. And I'm gonna bring a little bit of the copper tone into the middle, just a little spot right in the middle underneath the center of my eye to harmonize the copper there. There's a little copper there. It'll really make like the green of my eye color pop. If you have blue eyes, it'll be great. If you have, um, also if you have amber tone eyes, it's really great to add that little pop of light and tone. That's my buzzer to tell me that I'm running out of time. Um, I loved being with you guys. Um, gosh, this is really a pretty eye. I really like this. I'm really excited by this. Um, I hope you guys love it. I am so excited to be part of Beauty Pie family. There's so many more good things coming in the upcoming year. Um, if you weren't able to get this kit, um, you can do so by heading over to Beauty Pie. You know where to shop. You're all part of the club. Um, and yeah, have a great holiday. And yeah, have a great holiday. And see you guys soon. I'll, there'll be lots more of this in the uh, coming year. Wow, there's hundreds of you here. This is so exciting. Um, thank you all so much for joining, spending this little bit of time with me. Um, whether you're here in America or over there in the UK, I can't wait to get back to the UK. Um, have a great holiday. I hope you all get lots of rest, lots of love from your family. And uh, remember to take care of yourselves. It's really important. Thank you. Lots of love. Mm, thank you so much. Oh, I see lots of messages. Merry Christmas. Yeah, thank you all. I really, really love being part of this community. It is just the best. I mean, we are, it's like we have the, uh, the magic ticket to the best in beauty and uh, it's not gonna break the bank and we're getting the best of the best. And if I just wanna throw out there, I just wanna throw out there, I actually buy Beauty Pie skincare um, and I don't have to buy 
products. I get sent a lot. Beauty Pie is what I use. I use the retinols every single day, different retinols. Um, I use cleanser every day. I use the body products every day. It's what I use. I really love it. And um, because it's best in class. So, all right. Thank you, everyone. Have a really, really great holiday.